So let me ask you a bit of a provocative question. In this day and age, all kinds of technical information is readily available on the internet. So how important is it then for a sales engineer to have an engineering background himself? I think it's important to have a good engineering background because uh, it's important to know your product, which you can learn from catalogues, etc. But you've also got to have a good understanding of what you're trying to actuate uh, and also understand the process that's involved. So a good engineering background gives you a good uh, scope of, uh, of, of, of the engineering process. So would you say then that the sales engineer is a team player or a loner? Yeah. I think you've got to be a combination of the two. I think you've got to be able to work on your own and have a good technical knowledge, but you've also got to be able to communicate with your colleagues, but also other customers on different levels as well, from the stores people all the way through to the managing director. Now the public conception of an engineer is someone who locks himself away in his workshop. So how important are communication skills then to the sales engineer? I think it's very important because you've got to have a good understanding of your product but you've also got to be able to communicate it and explain the benefits of the product and make sure that they value those benefits. Now you're working yourself in sales so once you've made a deal do you pass it on to a back office to handle all the administration or do you get involved as well in uh, crossing the T's and dotting the I's? Although I pass the contract through to the contracts department, it's also my brief to make sure that the customer is still satisfied and that the right level of documentation is delivered to the customer through the process, but also make sure that the delivery is on time and that the customer's requirements are fulfilled. Now you're starting to paint the picture of a sales engineer as being an all-round uh, individual. So would you describe this as an ideal career choice for others? I think I would. I think it's a very varied job. You get involved in a number of different topics, not just from the engineering side, but from the commercial side, and making sure that the documentation is right, terms and conditions, and also making sure that you are getting paid for your product as well. Uh, sadly, nowadays, it seems that fewer and fewer youngsters are interested in engineering as a career choice. Is this why Alma is setting up its apprenticeship schemes? It is. We've noticed that the engineering culture from the 60s, 70s and 80s has tended to die away in the UK. Therefore, when we look to recruit colleagues or look to replace colleagues and recruit new, the younger people aren't quite there. Therefore, we have an ageing industry, so it's important to uh, recruit younger people and offer them a good, challenging apprenticeship. We do this both here in the UK and also through the factory in Germany. Final question. You've been in sales engineering for the past 30 years, there or thereabouts. Um, do you still enjoy this as much as you did when you first started? I think I do. I think it's always changing. I think the nice thing about it is that technology is moving forward and things like predictive maintenance and diagnostics is coming to the forefront. So it's always challenging. So I, I'm, it's, it's refreshing.